Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on the Stoneblock 2 server. We've called this Union Mines. This is a server that has all of the Tinker's Union members that you've seen in some of the other videos. And currently right now we have just DSA Girl on. But many of the other people have been on all day. I finally got home from work and I can play! Yay! Now I haven't seen the comments from the previous videos, so I'm kind of doing this back to back. And uh, we're going to get started right away. If you recall, in the last episode... We found two drops of evil, which means I can really use one now and use one later. So we're going to make, first thing here, a mob farm using that drop of evil. Now, I've dug this tunnel here, and I put in some markers here. This is spruce wood. I added a spruce tree that is growing off a of bonsai uh, pot here so that we can get some bruce, spruce, spruce wood. Bruce wood? Yeah, bruce wood. Some spruce wood, and at the other end here is the same type of marker. This is 24 blocks in length, which means anything past this, if I'm standing in my main area, the stuff should spawn. Now, that's a normal mob farm, drop of evil, they'll spawn regardless, okay? But I wanted us to have that just because in case I do something else or whatever, I have a place to put it uh, someplace uh, remote, okay? So we're gonna hollow this out. I'm thinking um, at least three more rows, okay? Right there, and I'm gonna put it torch here and I want to go I don't know this is there's three wide how many wide do we want to go so if you count on each side so we make it even that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen how about that that looks pretty good to me so we do how many one two three four five let's do five more here okay and there we go now I would like this to be taller because they're gonna be up a little higher and they're gonna have the possibility of I want to get Enderman in there. So we're gonna to have to go up here. I'm gonna go up three more at least. This is such a great tool having this uh, iron hammer that I made so I can do blocks at a time. We're almost done already, see that? And we'll hit it right there and there we go. And already I've cleared out a space for the mob farm. Now I'm a little worried here that we have uh, things that could spawn there and we don't have any coal. Uh. Let's see, can I spare one of these? Not really. Uh, let's see, can I put something here? And maybe put this one over here? Okay. So if I space these torches out, I don't want to get too far away because I don't want things to spawn. There we go. So you can see just a little bit of creative torch management. You can make sure that everything is safe and secure. Okay, so now my plan is here is for um, the, the, this right here to be the row where they stand. So I'm going to put this down here. Okay. And we're going to have a layer of dirt on top of that. So we're going to get some dirt here. And we need, a, what, 11 dirt? Um, and that is used by the hammer. Let's do that real quick. Okay. There we have 11 gravel. We'll hit it again and just make the dirt. Okay, and there we go. We have dirt on top of this. This will be pretty easy. It's a very basic mob farm. Uh, I need two more. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't make enough. Uh, that's a bad place for that. It'll take the stuff below it. My bad. Okay. See, take your derps all the time. We're going to do this right here. And let's see if this, this has enough in it. I hope it does. Oh, it did. Okay, this hammer is about to die. So let's see if it dies here. It did, and uh, we got it. Oh, we got a flint and no gravel. Interesting. Okay, so we'll hit it this one again. Gravel, hit it again. There's our two dirt. Okay, that's the first part. Now let me go get some more materials, and we're gonna work on making this a little bit better. Okay. Okay. The next step that I want to do is I want to have some just some cobblestone slabs. There we go. I also want to make, and this is not. And really that important I want to make some redstone torches okay one thing about redstone torches is they will not um, stop things from spawning but they do um, light the place up enough that you can see okay and I took the drop of evil now what I've done over here is I put a wall going up here so I can kind of see you can see it's like a barrier and actually I could fill all that in uh, now that I know where things are gonna go and you can see in here it's four blocks high, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, put a redstone torch. Let's see. Let's make this easy here. Let's put one 
right up here and right there so two off of that side make it kind of nice there we go okay so we have some redstone torches that'll work now uh, we want to make sure nothing can get out okay so we're going to basically put up here on the upper half and if you notice the blocks are becoming spawnable okay because in essence there's no light getting in here because that's just the way the light rules work I'm going to put this uh, on the back wall here. Same thing here. Okay. And there should be another one we should put right here. I'm going to put down a redstone torch until we get a better one. And see, it didn't keep that from spawning, did it? That's right. I just told you that that, that doesn't work that way. Hmm. Well, uh, we could have something there pretty quick. Anyway, so now we're going to take this here, and I should be able to... Let me, let me make sure I can get into it first. I want to see if I can... Do that take that down I want to be able to get up into there okay and I'm gonna use it on this dirt and there it goes now stuff should be spawning soon and hopefully we'll see some things here look at that stuff's already spawning and they shouldn't be able to hit us and you should be able to go up here now they can see you see that they can see you there so we're gonna put a layer here that we can stand up on like that and there we go. Not really hitting it with the right weapon there. But now we have a mob farm that's really easy and it'll work great for us. Okay, guys, I have been going back and forth here, hitting monsters as they appear. And obviously this is a creeper. And they appear sometimes, they don't. I think it has to do with more people on. Uh, but it's still working pretty well. I'm getting some resources and things. I did get some Inferium Essence, which did complete a quest. And let's go get that now while I'm here. Here we go, and you can see it's right here, and we got a random reward. We got a cobblestone generator! That is awesome, because look here, if we go back to this map here of quests, we have to clear down this line to get a cobblestone generator, but we already have it. So that's that's pretty cool. Now, I did get in my inventory here, this is an uncommon loot crate. So I'm going to put some of this stuff away first, and let's see if we open this uncommon loot crate, and let's see what we get, okay? Uh, let's put these up in there too. Okay, ready to open this? Let's see what this is. Three, two, one. Four chance cubes and four glowstone. Wow, guys, we've got 12 chance cubes. That's just incredible. Okay, I'm going to go on for this for a little bit more, and then I think we're going to start to work on getting some lava built up and produced, okay? So let me fight just a little bit more see what I can get. The next step is to make the crucible, and this is actually fairly easy now. What you do is you take the clay, which we have some clay here, and you have to have some bone meal, but I have bones from the mob farm, okay, and you put these together and you get porcelain clay, it's just like that. And then you go into here, make a little U-shape, and you have an unfired crucible, and you put that in to anywhere and eventually here you'll get the crucible. Now what is the crucible? What's it for? Well, this is a way to produce lava. And we're going to do that in just a second here. I'm going to show you this, okay? Here it is. We got a crucible. We get the quest and I'll get that in a second. Let's put a torch down. I'm going to put a torch down right here. Um, actually, I'm going to put one, one below that so you can kind of see. Basically, the torch here gets, in essence, heating this up. So then if you take cobblestone, you put it in, you can see the liquid lava is going up. And when it gets to a thousand, then you can have a bucket of lava. And that's the normal way of doing this, okay? And this is fantastic, but it's really, really s slow. The rate here is 1x, okay? You see how it says rate 1x? So we want something faster, and I believe what we can get is this. This is the superheating element. If you can see, it's got redstone. I've got redstone, copper. I've got copper, I think, over here. Let's see. No, no. There's some copper. So we have copper. That's easy. Okay. So we got all the stuff around there. So now we just got to make the steel casing. Steel take casing takes glass. That's just throwing sand in a furnace. We have osmium on me. How do you make steel? Well, one of the recipes for steel here is you take charcoal or coal two pieces of iron we got all that and this stone hammer a stone hammer sticks and string we got that 
So hardened stone, what's a hardened stone? It is an unhardened in a furnace. Unhardened is just cobble, sand, iron, and clay. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get some of this material here and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's take some of this into sand. How about that? Okay, I'll see if I can do this really quick on camera here. I know we just got gravel and we're going to do it all the way down to sand here. And it's going to take out the one that's down there and that's okay. We'll figure that out later. Okay, so we're going to get this down to dirt. Okay, and now we'll basically put this out here and we'll get down to sand. Okay, well, now we have sand and we have more clay. Let's get the clay out here. Okay, and over in this chest I have all the iron we have. And this should be just about enough. What else do we need? I think that was it. Do we need cobble? I think we need a cobble. Let's grab some cobble. We've got lots of cobble since we've been up at the mining area. So now we'll go ahead and make that hammer. Okay, this stuff right here. And, of course, I did it that way. Ah! Okay, let's go in here. It is steel. Hammer, that, that. And there we go, okay? We're going to throw that in a furnace, and in just a second, we'll have this hardened. I'll be right back. All right, it's done. We have all four of that. So now, if we go into here again, going through this whole list here, get this hammer made. And there it is, used for crafting only. Now that we have that, and we have coal on us. Almost there, guys. Oops, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Let's make, we need a total of four, right? There's two there, and it takes iron, iron, and that, and that. And there we go, we have two more steel. That's good. Now we just have to take four sand which will work out really quick here. I'm going to put some more into the furnace. That way we can go a little faster. And if you look here, it takes four sand. That's the glass and osmium, which we have on us. And we'll make that, the steel casing. Okay, so come on. Oh, we're lagging for some reason. Uh, why are we lagging here? There it goes. Okay. Okay, so there we are. Make the steel casing. And there it is. We have steel casing. And now we have to get the redstone out. Where did I put the redstone? There it is. And we have a copper on us. Excellent. Here it is. The superheating element. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back over here. You know how we had the torch. And this is at 1x of a rate, right? Okay. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to take this out. Put this down here. And look at that. We have a 60x rate for lava production. This is fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful lava. Let's go get our bucket so we can just get a little achievement for that. Okay? There's our bucket. And here we go. Hot stuff. We did it. Isn't that awesome? All right. The last part of this episode, I want to make this room that I've made here into a power generation room. So let's start this out. What's the flow? Well, we're going to use, since we have that 60x rate, we're going to use a cobblestone generator. And I'm going to upgrade this to iron so it just goes a little bit faster. Like that. Okay. So it's an iron cobblestone generator. It's a tier 2 generator. And I'm going to put it right against uh, this wall. Right. Let's put it right here. Okay. Now that's there. And what I want to do is I want to put on top of that, I want to make a uh, drawer. Okay. And those storage drawers are in this. Okay. So let's look at what it takes to make those. It should be pretty easy. This is a chest and some stuff there. And don't we have chests? I think somewhere that we have a chest. And let's grab some oak. We got plenty of that. Okay. Like that. And a chest. And there we go. Okay. And we got another quest completed. And I'm going to put this right on top here. And there we go. And boom, cobblestone is being generated and throw flowing into this, okay? Now, right down here, I'm going to put that heating element, okay? So it's under the, the uh, ground there, just like it is here. We're also going to get, take the crucible. And actually, I think I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to, I am going to put a space here so we have a, a block, okay? So there's that. And now I'll put the crucible down. Here it is right there now we have to get the this 
into here. So it automatically fills up because you can see there's nothing in there. So what I'm going to use are transfer pipes. And look, it just takes some stone and some glass and some redstone. So let's uh, do that. Let's go put some more glass in here. I should say sand to make into glass. I have stone made somewhere. There's some right there. So we'll do that. Uh, there we go. And we need just two pieces of glass here. And we'll have all the transfer pipe. That's the first piece of transferring what we want to transfer. The other part I want to do is I want to get these, which are transfer nodes for items. Okay. So let's do this here. And it's just uh, this. And you get a, basically a stack. That's a pretty good deal. Okay. And then we need to get this, a transfer node. And it's just a pipe, redstone, chisel stone, and a chest. Let's get it. The chest already on it. I might have all the stuff on me to do this. I do. Okay. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to come off the side of this. This is transferring items out. Okay. I'm going to go into here and into here. And you can see it's right there. And boom, it's already filled it up and it's converting that into lava. Okay. That's fantastic. Now, what I want this to do then is I want this to bring stuff out into a, the lava as fluid into a drum. Okay, so we're gonna make a drum real quick here. And a typical drum, it takes some stuff made from iron, which we can do pretty quick. So it takes two of those. Okay, it takes a cauldron, there's that. And now we have a drum. Surprise, there wasn't a quest for that. Okay. So now I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put it over like here. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Hopefully that'll work. Now I'll put it one away. I'm, I'm worried about the spacing here. Okay, but anyway, I'll do it right back. Darn it. I'm going to put it right here. And what we need now, instead of an item, um, and when it's item nodes, okay, we need a fluid one, which is blue. And it just takes an empty bucket. Oh man. Don't fall in that tinker. <laughs> and it takes, what is it? No, it's not that. It's this. And there we go. And I don't like all the coloring there. Okay. So now, coming out of this, I want to kick the fluid. And I want to transfer that into there. And now we have lava being produced and being pulled into this lava, this barrel for all the lava. Very simple setup. And it just, you know, it'll fill up as fast as it can go. Look at all that lava. This is fantastic. What a great setup. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make a magmatic generator, which takes a furnace generator, which takes all of this. Okay, furnaces are easy, irons, easy, redstone's easy. And what's that? We're going to, have to make that. And we have a chest on us. So let me go over here and start building this up. Okay, so we build that. There we go. We got four of those. Now we got to make a furnace still. There's that. Oh, wait, I already have a furnace on me, so that's I don't need to do that. So we have that item there, and then we make this one right here, and we need to get the gold, and did I get the gold? There's some gold, okay. I'll go in here, and we'll make a magmatic generator. Awesome. And we got our bucket back. Now this creates power, okay? So now, it's waiting for fuel. If you look here, it doesn't have any lava in it, so what we're going to do... We're going to take the fuel out. We'll use this again on the side. There it is. And we'll use one of the transfer pipes. It's right here. And boom. Fluid and lava is flowing into here. And it is producing energy. Okay. So now we have power. Now I'm going to go check and see. Is there a way we can have some sort of energy storage? We had all those capacitors. We had 12 capacitors last episode. Let's see if we can do something with that. I think we're in luck. If you look at the basic capacitor here, it takes four of those, redstone block and iron, okay? Now we have redstone here. Do we have any more redstone? We do. We need some blocks and we need all those capacitors because I can make a bunch of these, okay? So let's make, I think we need three blocks total. One, two, three. And then we can make three of these. Okay. So now we have a lot of power. I'm just going to stack it right beside here. Uh, let's see if I can do it from up here. And there we go. I have the total storage of, I think this is what, 3 million? I think each of these is 1 million 
uh, the, uh, the RF or whatever this equivalent energy is. Okay, so basically now we are using lava, or sorry, cobblestone to make lava to go in storage here and convert that lava into energy, which we're storing. If you notice here, there's something very key here, which I want to just uh, talk about for a second, is that when you make systems like this, it's good to have a way to capture overflow. So if you look at this, I have a cobblestone generator and it's pushing up as much as it can. This is like a buffer, an overflow area, okay? So it keeps a, a surplus of it here. Lava comes out, we keep a surplus of lava. Energy's made, we keep a surplus of energy. You see, every step of the way, we are basically making sure we have a place to hold it so we're not wasting any, at least not that much. Because if uh, this would be out, well, that'd be okay, but if we have some extra where we were ahead of the game, there'd be more cobblestone in here, okay? But that's awesome. So there we go. I'm going to take a screenshot of this right now. I'm going to do this. Boom, there's a screenshot, and that'll probably be the next thumbnail. Okay, the last thing I want to do here is I'm going to put a lot of this stuff away, but I do have a couple of chests to open, I think. Is it just the one? Probably just the one. I don't see any others in here. I'm going to put this stuff away, and we are going to start to open this up, and then we're also going to get whatever quests we have, okay? Quest items. So what is this? Let me put that up there, too. This is a common loot crate. We've got four raw chicken and a slime ball. Okay, that's not bad. We'll take that and put that away here. Now, let's see what other quests we completed. Looks like we completed one here. Oh, wow, look at all we have here. We got the getting the Crucible. More Black Lotus. That seems to be pretty common. We got for the Cobblestone Generator, 12 Epic Bacon. That's pretty good. And here we got another reward. Another inventory crafting table. Maybe I can trade that to one of the other union members that are online. Now the storage, uh, looks like we have because we made a storage drawer. And we got a torch launcher. Oh my gosh, the torch launcher. This thing is so cool. The reason why this is cool is that, like, uh, let's see if I can find a good place. Like, see, I want a torch on that block right up there. Right where that space is in this spot. I just hit the button and boom, we have a torch. Let's do it again. Now if you notice here, it's using up torches. Oh, that one didn't stick. That's interesting. Um, it's using torches for my inventory. I have 41. I fire at 40. But if you don't have any in your inventory, it actually has like a little bit of a charge, so it still works. So that's a pretty nice tool. I wonder what it looks like. Aha! Uh -huh. I am the guy with the gun. Okay, everybody. Well, that is all I have time for today. We've done a lot as far as making a mob farm. We've made a power system and lava and all this other things. So we're getting a lot of infrastructure set up. Uh, one of the things we have to really have, though, is food and so probably one of the next episodes we're going to be doing is we're going to make some farms so that we can be able to support ourselves even more okay so i want to say thank you to everybody for coming out and watching this video if you like this video you there please 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 put a like <laughs> if you have any comments put them down in the comment section and if you'd like to be notified of the videos that i produce please subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell icon so you get those notifications. And if you're new here, please take a moment and subscribe. It's very important for the YouTubers to know that people are out there subscribing and liking these videos, okay? Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye.